Hello! And today you're coming with me again to the cinema. It is about 10 to 6. Jesus, I didn't know it was that late. I have half hour before the film starts. I live 10 miles away. Um, let's see how we manage. I'm going to see, and you'll not believe this when I tell you, The Conjuring 3. The devil made me do it. Now, my favourite um, subject matter from movies, as you may know, if you know me at all, is spooky, ghosty, paranormal. I'm into all that jam. But, what you may not know is, I don't like The Conjuring movies. I don't like the Annabelle movies. I think they're laughable. Um, I just cannot be scared of a doll, I'm sorry. The first child's play I love, but, you know, the least said about later versions the better. But, um, I just, just cannot ground myself with The Conjuring. Now, when we had The Nun, not the movie The Nun, because that was just horseshit, for want of a better word. When we had um, her in one of the, con was she in The Conjuring 2? That was scary. That scene in the room with her and the painting and stuff, that was scary. Valak, was it Valak? Um, I like that. But the Conjuring movies to me should be just manna from heaven for me, but they just didn't hit the spot and I don't know why. I can't explain why that is. So I've seen Spiral, I've seen A Quiet Place 2, I've seen um, Nobody, I've seen um, Those Who Wish Me Dead. I'm trying to think of everything that's on in our cinema at the minute. So pretty much I've seen everything apart from The Conjuring 3. So I'm going to go see it because football. <clears throat> if you're in America, oh my god, the UEFA, European something or other, I have no idea. Something about the European football. Who cares about COVID? All these footballers are travelling all the way around Europe. Um, and I am sick to death of football. As I left the house, Portugal was playing Hungary. And as my husband says, but tonight's the big one. France is playing Germany. I personally will root for Germany for that. I love Germans. I love Germany. So there's a single magpie again. Honestly. If you know me, you'll know my, my... I'm not really superstitious, but magpies, yes. And I keep seeing one. It's like impending doom constantly. It was a sheep's bum. I just went past. It was quite funny. So then I got in the car and put on the radio. Football. Football match. So, my husband, if he's not watching the football on the TV, now he doesn't ask to watch it on the TV downstairs, he'll either take himself upstairs and watch it or he'll be watching it on his phone. But literally, it's just been football, football, football since this thing started and I think we've got two and a half weeks of it left yet. So, I'm taking myself to the cinema to see a film. Oh, that bin's got our stickers on it. We used to live in that house and I bought all these little like stickers to decorate the bin and they're still on it. Sorry, that's of no relevance to going to the cinema, but yes. So, I'll, I'll knock off here and I'll waffle to my other channel, my vlogging channel, about such things as stickers in my bin, and um, I shall um, probably not take you into the cinema because I can't film for shit, to be honest. It's all over the place um, and I don't like people seeing that I'm filming because here in Ireland, very few vloggers very few people out and about with cameras and if you do that people look at you like what on earth are you doing um so it's a bit hard to um to film so i shall catch up with you later on this evening guys two banks of four and even the oh, front really? two as well to just put the radio on i can put balls on this should have some nice little music over the top of it shouldn't it not the football I get copyrighted every week for everything I put. Oh, even stuff that, where are they all coming from? Jesus Christ. The COVID vaccination centre's up here also, so I can only imagine these people are coming from getting their COVID injection. <clears throat> oh, come with me to the rolling sea where the weather's calm and still. Do you remember Portland, Bill? And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill. Okay, so I'm here. I'd forgotten the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard was on, but it's not on until quarter to nine. Um, I really want to see that because I love Ryan Reynolds and I really like the Hitman's Bodyguard. But um, what time are we on? It is seven minutes past six. The film starts at 20 past six, so we're in good time. We're matching, top and thing. Let's get going, folks. Oh, it's 
quite warm. I'm sure all these people up inside this all can see me coming to record and everything. I've actually remembered my mom. Screen four again, guys. I know. I've got my coffee, Alan. It's not a McLatte. It's not a McDonald's McLatte. Small screen again, because nobody likes to see horror. Oh, it was only four pounds. Oh, Crazy Tuesday. Is that what that means? Crazy tea. Oh, that's a bargain. Four quid. Happy days. So I think I might have the screen to myself. You know, they, they can sit and see what's going on in cinemas, so they can probably see me talking to myself like a Muppet. So I'll stop forthwith and I'll see you after the film. to do this review as I'm as I'm driving folks um, apologies and I hope it doesn't um, interfere too much where's my bloody headlights there we go um, it started to rain um, I've just gone to pick up a few bits if you're not interested in that how was the movie as I say folks I apologize if there's loads of driving noise I'll try and make this swift before I start driving fast um, it's in the speed limit obviously I thoroughly enjoyed that um, I don't particularly like any movies. This, I know this isn't very engaging me looking round, folks. I do apologise. I couldn't really review this in the car park because I was parked right in front of the cinema and there were people outside, you know, chatting and waiting on lifts and things and um, looking at me, you know what I mean? So, um, as I say, car noise, I do apologise. I really enjoyed that. I found it really engaging. The cinematography was beautiful. So many scenes, I'm sitting there thinking, oh my god, that's gorgeous, and the transitions from one scene to another. Um, the acting was, the acting's always good. Um, I never have a problem with the acting in the movies. They just never really hit for me like I think they should do with my love of the subject. It's raining, as you can see. Um, that I really liked, and I know most people didn't. This, I'm making a habit of this. Most people didn't like Spiral, and I did. Most people, I think that was because I did go in with really, again though, I probably went into that with really low expectations because I'm not a fan of those movies. Um, and like Spiral, I wasn't expecting much and I was really pleasantly surprised. The sound design was amazing. There weren't too many stupid jump scares. I don't like that. The possession scenes were really like, oh, horrible. The contortion bits, I'm not gonna give too much detail, obviously. If you don't know, and I'm sure everyone does know, the movie is based on a true story, which I must go home and look up because I might do it as a true crime one, um, where someone murders someone else and they're, with the tagline of the movie, the devil made me do it, he said he was possessed and the whole thing went to trial, it was a real thing and it was the first time ever in the US, although previously two cases had gone to trial in the UK, which I also must look up when I go home. I wonder is that bit true? It says that in the movie. And then I think everything that's built around it isn't necessarily true, but the, the crux of The Devil Made Me Do It and the murder is true, and it showed the truth, the real pictures at the end, and you got some of the audio recording of one of the attempted exorcisms. Really creepy. I totally believe in this, folks, and you may think, oh, cool. maybe it's the Catholic in me, I have no idea, but I, I, dig I, I hear these tapes and I think, right, come on, go on then. You know when you're trying to feed out and the person won't move out? But there's the language, folks, there's the real Lisa for you. Um, so, yeah, it's, a kid could not make those noises, no. So yeah, big thumbs up for me, fantastic acting, really atmospheric, cinematography was just a joy to watch, even if you don't really enjoy the movie, 
if you, you, you have to appreciate how gorgeous it is. Um, acting was first rate. I have to say, am, am I approaching menopause or what is it about me at the minute? But Patrick Warren, he's a bit of alright. I think it's the, the, the build. There's a bit in the movie where he, he carries, this really isn't a good review is it? There's a bit in the movie where he carries like a kid down the stairs that's possessed. And the kid's like obviously full of all this strength and he's yanking it down the stairs and I'm going, you fucking go Patrick Warren, Whoa, let's see a bit of this. All strong and manly like, you know. So, uh, <laughs> and then if you've seen it, you know what happens for the rest of the movie, which just burst my bubble completely. And I'm sure that's exactly what you want to know about Conjuring, the devil made me do it. Or like some lovely person said in my review of Spiral, or no, it was my weekly what I watched, he wrote, nobody cares. <laughs> Fine, so that's okay. Oh dear me, this person had 18 subscribers in three videos, so I think, uh, I think I'll sleep tonight, you know what I mean? So yeah, big thumbs up from me, folks. Uh, go see the movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm not a fan of these movies, but I got a lot from it. I really liked it. Some genuinely really creepy scenes in there. Um, like I say, the cinematography was just amazing. That made it for me, but really liked it. Thumbs up from me. Um, let me know below what you thought. I've got about five or six different people's reviews of this movie to watch in my watch later list on YouTube. I haven't watched most of them because I didn't want to spoil too much for myself and every review I've watched has said it's crap, I think bar one. Um, so I will get to them if you've done a review, most probably if I've seen it I will get to it. I do get to things eventually folks, it may take me a while but I get there. Um, but thanks for watching if you did, my ramblings while driving. Um, I've just picked up a bee and insect hotel from Lidl which I'm very chuffed about so little bees and butterflies can stay in it in my back garden so and I'm scared of bees so that's saying something so yeah thank you for watching guys my incessant rambling about things that probably you didn't tune in to watch about um and I shall take you with me the next time to see whatever probably the hitman's wife's bodyguard I would imagine um thanks for watching guys over and out on these loves